left on, but turn and road in that. Take the entrance to the right in 430 feet. Try this thing out. The driver simulator. First one today. Alright, gang, I'm out. I made a 94. My dirty ass truck. And look at that clean ass truck. Pretty clean. Getting it ready for a new driver. Yep, off the PA. I made a 94, had two hard brakes. I didn't get the 100. Maybe next time. Attention truck drivers, do not back in unattended. Guess where I'm at? The whole day I've been telling everybody I was going to Pittsburgh, but really I didn't know where the hell I was going. All I did was put it in the damn, I knew where I was going, but I just kept forgetting the name of the damn city. Chicora, PA, that's where I'm at. You see, I already got the tarp off. I left one strap on. And guess what? They about to unload me right now. I just got to go in here and let them know. Do not back in unattended. So, about to go in here and let them know right now so they can back me in. And it's, what time is it? 7.53. How about that? I had to flip the switch for that damn strobe light to come on. Y'all see that strobe light? I had to flip a switch. There should be somebody coming up here. That's what the guy told me. Flip the switch, wait for the guy to come. Look like I see his hard hat moving now. The guy that told me to take my tarps off, he told me door two. This guy just said door one. 
So now I gotta move my truck. Hey, but guess what, y'all? I left one strap on each one. Yeah, just in case. Well, you should always leave at least one strap on there. You don't want that stuff to fall off. just stopped at a service area about 10 miles back. It's another one 45 miles later. And I stopped there. I said, I said, you know what? I'm gonna try to push it another 45 miles. I should have stayed where I was at. This is terrible out here, man. I'm on 76, going through Pennsylvania. 107 miles from 81. Yeah, I didn't want to shut it down, but we're gonna shut it down as soon as I find me somewhere to park. The only place we can park at out here is those emergency stops. Any other time, I don't need to see one. I see one. But now, I need to see one. I don't see one. that truck in front of me it's probably going about 45 I had to hit my brakes a couple times I can easily go around them but we're going to play it safe so I ain't got time for the looks of it right now it looks like it looks like I'm starting to see more green grass so could it be could it be lightening up a little bit? 
So right now I'm going for the east. Definitely looks like it's uh, starting to lighten up. Hey, since I got empty last night, I got empty. I went to sleep at the receiver. I woke up about 6.30 this morning, started my clock, uh, then headed down to West Virginia. What's that place called? Sur Certainty? Somewhere in West Virginia. Like right across the Ohio border. Like cross over the bridge in West Virginia, come back over the bridge back in Ohio. I picked up the load from there, preloaded the trailer. I got a damn uh, Qualcomm message that said uh, I had to take a picture of my trailer when I dropped it with two tarps, 40 budgies, and 24 edge protectors. That's what it said. So that's what I left on my empty trailer. Then, I got tired of hitting the brakes, that's why I went ahead around that guy. It's just starting to loosen up a little bit, I can already tell. But anyway, so I did, I did that. Went to my drop trailer. Man, that drop trailer only had like, how many straps on this thing? One, two, six, sixteen, no, it got eight straps. Probably more than eight, maybe maybe ten straps. Maybe not even that many, but it don't got 24 uh, edge protectors. I'll tell you that, I might have got about ten. So I just got jipped out of some edge protectors. It's all good though. I gave them the ones I didn't want. The little small ones. Okay, so it's all good. It is what it is. And, and they definitely didn't have 40 bungees on that trailer either. Might have had 20. Woo! White world. This what y'all want? This is not why you're here? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make this video white world. I might call it white world a warm-up. Because I don't have a whole storyline. All you doing is seeing some snow. Like last year, I made that White World 2.5. So this is going to be White World to warm up. When I hit some real snow, I, I let you know. Hey, we might, we might come back with the classic White World series. Season 2 for the White World. Yeah, it's definitely starting to uh, lighten up a little bit since, since I came through that tunnel. Came through that tunnel while so I came on the other side of that tunnel. It just kind of lightened up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? I ain't gonna get too big for my britches. I'm gonna keep running 55. I just caught myself coming down that hill a little fast right there. Yeah, we just gonna we just gonna coast it on in. And guess what? I got 280 miles to go tomorrow. I want to go 98 more miles and go all the way to 81. But it's just too dangerous out here. It's just too dangerous. Yeah, way too dangerous. I got to get off the road. I can't be out here at nighttime. But, what time is it? Five? So I'm about to 515. So if I stop by six, I gotta get back. I gotta get up by four. I'm still gonna be rolling when it's dark. But so it'll be alright. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make it work. That's what we do. Flat bed game. We're resourceful. We'll make it work. We'll make it happen. Is that how we do? You know what? I'm just gonna make this video right here a ride along. This just gonna be a ride along. Cause I ain't got nobody to talk to. I just talk to myself. You see that area I just passed? That's emergency stop area. You see, it was one truck sitting over there. And I was just talking. When you need one, you can't find one. But when you don't, you'll see them. So like right now, I don't need one. But I just passed one. Yeah, that's an emergency uh, stopping area. You take a 10-hour break there. If you get on, they got they got like a line. It'll say park on this side of the line. 
park on that side of you know park close to the highway park up against the, uh, the guard rail and I was prepared to take my 10 hour break right there if I would have had to I would have took it right there 96 miles 96 miles to 81 I got 3 hours 24 minutes on my clock of dry time 3 hours 24 minutes of dry time So, what we gonna do, D? What we gonna do? Like I said, we gonna get off the damn road. But, hey, we ain't got time for this. I just gotta take, I just gotta take a hill and have to run out more hours tomorrow morning to drop the load off than I, than I normally would have. Just gotta take a hill. And this load going to Jersey. So once I drop this off. Basically, I might I might can make it somewhere to pick a load up. And I might go to Camden. It's always where they love to see me at. I might go to Camden. Get something going back down to Virginia. Look at this metal driver passing me to my left. What up, Melton? Melton. Got his straps on top of his tarp. Not authorized at Melton. They don't they don't allow that at Melton. No straps over the top because they don't want to damage their tops. For all you future mountain drivers that watch me. Now my load that I got right now, I got straps over the top. Y'all have seen me do that many times. But over there in Melton, they don't want you to do that. Uh, a little snowmobile. Snowmobile. What are you doing, buddy? Snowmobile. Ain't no more snow now. Gotta put some damn salt on this road. 94 miles. Exit 226. I 81. US LN. Carlisle, Harrisburg. 276 miles total. Hey, you know what, gang? This right here will be a perfect video for y'all to just play through your speakers in your truck. Just listen to it while you're driving. Perfect video. Hey, and if, if, if you're having trouble going to sleep, just uh, play it while you're laying in your sleeper berth. And just listen to me until you fall asleep. How about that? Woo! Rick Flair, go whoop on a on a on a cheek. Get that right. Rick Flair, drip go whoop on a cheek. Woo! Woke up with a headache this morning. Damn bunk heater. That bunk heater, man, it cools. Well, I say it heats up the truck, but it's still kind of cool at the same time. I woke up with a sore throat this morning. Cause sometimes that bump heater, it'll hang you. You'll be sweating, but it'll still be kind of chilly. And you know, they don't mix. You don't want to be sweating and still feel chilly. That's how you get in the motor. So I woke up with a sore throat this morning. See that? See that area to, to my right? That's emergency pull-off. Look at it. Hey, what I tell you? Every time you don't need one, you see plenty of them. What in the heck? I told you. Where, where was it at when I was in that all uh, white everything back there 20 miles back? Because I was going to pull over. Where was it then? Here. I slowly brought my speed up to 65, my maximum governor speed. I'm slowly back at 65. 
So we're gonna keep it at 65. Well, Smith system. I bet you know that what Smith system technique I just used just now. Keep your eyes moving. I just saw up ahead in front of that truck that just passed me. I just saw brake lights. So as soon as I saw brake lights, I let off the gas. That way I won't be surprised. Keep your eyes moving. Leave yourself in out. Not necessarily in that order. Make sure you follow the Smith system. Don't run past the scale house like I did. I had to go to the terminal and waste the whole day taking the Smith system course. If y'all didn't know, that was probably like, that was like back in May when I did that. We had to go take the Smith system class. Wasted a whole day. Don't be like me. Pull into the scale if it's open. I was in a rush trying to hurry up and drop a load off so I could head home. Wasted about two hours. I ended up getting a DOT inspection. Passed it, but didn't get my however many points you get for drive for gold. Because even though I had a perfect DOT inspection, but I got a ticket. The ticket voided it. You know how they do. Passed my perfect DOT inspection. Another thing about me, if y'all see my older videos, you know sometimes I wear glasses. Um, okay, 10 miles of that service plaza, but it, it said up under it, 35 miles to the next one. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep pushing. We're going to go to the next one. Anyway, I wear glasses. Most of the time I wear contacts. When the guy, when a when the, when the state trooper um, checked my paperwork, he came over there and was like, yo, you're not wearing your corrective lenses? I said, I got contacts. Look, to my right, another, another emergency pull-off. That's the third, they got like every five miles now. Anyway, he shined a flashlight in my eye to see if I was really wearing contacts. That's not the first time that's happened though. Like, I've been wearing contacts my whole life. And police officers, they will always do that. Left curb if they want to do it, they, they, will, they will tell you to hold your eye open and they will shine a flashlight in your eye. I, that, that's happened to me more than once. Not even, you know, out here driving trucks, but in my personal vehicle as well. And if if you work corrective lenses and you don't got them in, you're gonna get a ticket. A failure to wear corrective lenses. And that, that carries like the same weight as driving with no license. So make sure you wear your corrective lenses at all times. If you need to. Or if you don't wear them, make sure you got some glasses in your vehicle. That you can throw on real quick if you get pulled over. Woo! I'm tired, man. I'm tired. I might shut it down at this, uh. I might shut it down at this service plaza in 10 miles. Because your boy's beat. The issue, the only issue with that, if I shut it down, I gotta roll at 4 o'clock. 4 a.m. Oh man. The next one's at 35 miles. 315, 443. If I was to run my whole clock out, I would be off the road by like 8 o'clock if I was to run my whole clock out. Three more hours. I actually took the same highway last night. All the way towards Pittsburgh. But the sun was still out there. Woo! Check in with y'all when I get to the truck stop. Guess what, gang? Went ahead and finished out those last 90 miles. Now I am only eight miles from I-81. 
that it is 652. Yeah, I didn't want to do it to some willpower. The main reason I kept pushing, because I didn't want to have to get up real early in the morning. I didn't want to have to start my, my ten, I didn't want my 10 hour break to be up at uh, 3 in the morning. I don't think about rolling so late. I know the service area is going to be jam packed. I already know it. So we got to find somewhere to park. I already know this thing packed. I got a dilemma. Do I keep straight where the car is supposed to park? Do I take the chance and go to the right where the truck is supposed to go? Oh, yeah, we're going to keep straight. I already see some other trucks up there. Yeah, my window's fucking dirty as hell. Yeah, we're going to pull up right here behind this truck. Of course the sign says no parking. But hey, it is what it is. Hey, y'all know how it is, man, late at night like this. Woo! I am tired. Woo, I'm tired, boy. I do this post trip, but I'm taking my ass to sleep. Shit. Oh, shit. Whew. Hey, remind me not to do that again. Not do that again. I don't know what I was thinking. 23 degrees. I just hopped out the truck, walked around the trailer, I put my coat on. Oh, man. I'm still shaking. Whew. All drivers. I just got a fleet message. All drivers. Temps are expected to fall below freezing across the deep south today. Guess who ain't in the deep south? Some of the northern half may have leftover moisture that could create some black ice. Please be prepared for the cold temps tonight. Listen to weather reports in your area and drive with caution if you are on the roads. Thanks, guys. Safety and precaution is the key. Good night. Hopefully my bunk here can keep me warm tonight. Hopefully, I got a truck. I thought I heard somebody knocking. Yeah, hopefully it'll keep me warm tonight. The truck running right now. But, I got to hit the gas every time it flashes so I can cut it back on so it don't cut off. Yeah, man, that bunk heater. It don't, it don't really, man, it's like it's, it's like it's warm in some spots. But it makes you sweat, but you, but the truck still be cold. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not a, it's not a good feeling. Cause I woke up this morning with a sore throat. But you know it is what it is, man. Whew. So I'm gonna make this video a drive along video, and that's it. I'm just too tired. About to go to sleep. Stay safe, drivers. Make sure you don't watch out for black ice. Make sure you wear your seatbelt. Since my buddy, my buddy uh, Jimmy told me his buddy got fired because he had on the seatbelt. Look, watch this. You hear that? Truck about to cut off. I had to hit the gas. He didn't have, he had this part behind him like that. He went through a weight station. Make sure you wear your seatbelt. All you kids, don't do drugs. Unless it's caffeine and you're drinking coffee. Flatbed game. I'm out.